damn, it's a bull. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzma with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. I still got the strep thropy thing. Strep thropy. The strep throat thingy going on here, I think. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know how long I can last, but no less beautiful evening. Take a look at this, like 78 degrees. Boy, this is what keeps me going right here is the beautiful weather we have in South Florida. And uh, what else is going on out here? I'm going to have to move through this fairly quickly because I don't know how long my voice is going to hold up. However, reminds me, you can't enjoy wealth if you're not in good health. <laughs> And I'm a living testament to that right now. I got this flu, just not flu. I shouldn't say a flu. I don't know what the hell it is. But needless to say, so far, just from the throat up into the rest of the head and a um, <clears throat> little bit of stomach thing here and there, but no less, hard to enjoy anything when you're feeling like shit. Uh, so, you know, it's a testament to keeping yourself in good shape. You know, I've avoided having any colds or anything in the last couple of years now. So far, pretty lucky, but uh, this is my unlucky week. No less. What a great week in markets here. Let's take a look at what's going on. And uh, uh, right now in the aftermarket, uh, 1967. So we've been in that 1960, uh, above 1950 all day, pretty much. Silver, I've been above 25. I mean, take a look at it. Take a look at this, 2441, 2445, where we're currently sitting, and platinum, just the unloved metal. <laughs> it certainly seems unloved at that sub-$1,000 market, but you know, they often say the best time to buy something was no one else is interested in, especially in commodities like this. I think platinum at sub-$1,000, we're going to look back and say, man, that was super cheap. But again, just my opinion don't understand all the subtle subtleties that go along with uh, platinum and why platinum trades at the price it does palladium is a bigger enigma to me but platinum certainly looks cheap at these levels let's take a look at uh, uh I, I can't understand what's happening to bitcoin out there i mean i'm really surprised it was supposed to uh, replace gold but apparently uh i thought it was even following the uh uh what is it uh, excuse me but the uh uh, oh my gosh, uh, NASDAQ market, but it hasn't even been following that very well. Uh, where is uh, that one uh, site that shows me what NASDAQ Well, anyway, I'm not even going to look. NASDAQ is actually down. Oh gosh, something we'll talk about there tomorrow. Uh, but Bitcoin down, I was really surprised. Everything across the board, gold, silver, equities, everything up. Bitcoin down, explain that to me, someone, please, please, in the comment section below. <clears throat> As far as physical availability goes, uh, folks, I mean, still 100 ounce bars are the best deal out there. 10 ounce bars and one ounce bars. Um, oh, sounds like we got the local fire department going by. <clears throat> and there we go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, one ounce, 10 ounce, and 100 ounce, they're not coming for me, so relax. <laughs> Uh, ones, tens, and hundreds. Hundreds being the best deal out there. Tens, the next best thing. Ones uh, after that. Uh, I'm going to get into some more detail on what the best deals out there. As far as gold, everything is available in gold pretty much. Most of it's in stock for most people. Uh, gold bars being the best deal. American Eagles being on the price here in the Canadians. Uh, uh, Maple Leafs being in between. Of course, if you're like me, you're all about price. So stick with one ounce gold bars for sure. Um, I was going to talk about GATA.org, but <clears throat> I'm not in much condition to talk about much of anything right now. So for all you regular uh, uh, listeners out there uh, that are uh, listening to my graspy-ass voice right now, uh, um, there's some good stuff going on in GATA.org. Uh, the fact that I can't read it to you right now doesn't mean that you can't read it yourself, and you probably already have, as the savvy, smart people that you are. Uh, uh, by following uh, sites like GATA.org. And uh, uh, anyways, let me move on to the next thing here is my video yesterday. I'm not dying. It just sounds like it. I feel a lot better today. Uh, again, <clears throat> again, wow. You know, as you get older, you realize you don't have much control over things that control your body and stuff like that. So uh, staying healthy is a real important thing. I think that after tomorrow, I should have my voice back more. Uh, yesterday, I couldn't even get out more than five minutes, so uh, today I'm doing much better. And I, I, I count that to uh, 
uh, good healthy eating thanks to my girlfriend and uh, uh, taking care of myself and exercising once in a while. So I can't stress the importance of taking care of your body, folks, especially when you're not feeling well. Anyways, I'd like, listen, do I have the best audience out there of anybody? Take a look at this. Everyone commented, 65 comments, um, asked, telling me to get well. So, <laughs> and I listen, I listen to everybody. I did mega, uh, mega vitamin C dosage. I've done lots of vodka. Oh gosh, tonight I've done lots of vodka already. Uh, vodka with pepper and honey. All right, so I mixed in everything here. Um, what else here? Ditch the wine, try the whiskey. I love whiskey, but I get a little heartburn from it now, old coasty. So um, probably no whiskey, whiskey for me tonight. And again, uh, Ab says sexy voice. Rest a little, <laughs> thank you. I uh, got some kind of crud in Baltimore. Uh, <clears throat> tough to say. Uh, one of my employees was sick with the sa exact same thing earlier in the week. So, um, and that's uh, before I, you know, didn't get it from me in Baltimore. And it's possible, though, you're not sure. It's in the upper airway. Joe Schmo got that right for sure. Hey, Joe, appreciate that, brother. And uh, uh, wish you well as well. And uh, everyone, look at this. Uh, you're awesome. Like I said, you guys are freaking great, man, I tell you. Uh, bring a smile to my face for sure. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone for all their well wishers uh, on my health and how I'm feeling. Well, listen, I'm going to call it quits right here because if I go on much further, I'll start sounding... Uh, uh, my voice will start cracking. I don't think I'll do myself any good either. And uh, there's so much to talk about that I missed the last couple of days, especially since Baltimore last week, uh, that I want to go into. I mean, uh, there's so much stuff bubbling underground right now, folks. Man, we're in for some major changes in the way we see the world and the way the world is right now. Uh, but no less, I'll get to that tomorrow. Hopefully I can talk about some more stuff. And as I always say, think for yourself, question authority, and most of all, question your own narrative, because it may not be your own, it may be your parents' narrative, the, the narrative of uh, the news media, it may be the narrative of your school. Um, so always question your narrative. It makes it much easier to question other people's narratives when you've done your own. Well, listen, you know me, I can drone on about that. Thanks for listening. This is Brian Kuzma, where commercial where coins and precious metals are feeling a little bit better. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get a nice little video out for you tomorrow. We'll let you know. These things, um, what's, it, what's that saying? I forget who said it. Uh, these things shall pass. Or these things shall too pass. Um, is that Buddha or something like that? But no less. Uh, this, this cold shall too pass. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. Have yourself a great evening. And uh, um, bye now.